Hey, what's up? It's Maddie at MixandMasterMySong.com. Today we are going over um, Overloud's new Echo Sun delay unit. Um, it's a replica of the Benson um, Echo Rec 2, I believe, uh, which was an Italian delay unit that was made back in the 60s. Um, you might have heard it on Pink Floyd Records. I know Michael Brower has one. He uses it quite extensively. Um, it's a really cool unit, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of the delays back then were analog tape, and they would, you know, spin around and, 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 and do the delay like that. This actually has uh, four magnetic drum heads, um, and you can, you know, select which ones you want to be the record and then the, the play heads. So it's, it's a pretty interesting unit, and it comes out with some really cool sounds. So what we'll do really quick is run through just, you know, what the different knobs do, basically. Um, and then I'll play you um, some examples of how I used it on this, this new Cam Meekin song that just came out called uh, Big Joints. On, it's out on Spotify and all that. So uh, here's the unit right here. It's a pretty cool looking thing. You can see the, the magnetic drum head spinning. And um, we'll go through this really quick. Uh, first is the end level. It's, you know, how hard you hit it. You can actually crank this out to get some pretty cool saturation. Um, the swell uh, selects the amount of tone feedback uh, you get from the magnetic disc. Um, it can also be used to control, like, the decay of the repetitions. Uh, time is exactly what it is, how, you know, fast the delay is going. Um, the cool thing, which wasn't on the original unit, obviously, is that it has a sync... Um, link on it which i use quite a bit um and you can sync it to 16th or, or whatever you want um and just by clicking that here and then the mix knob zero is nothing going no wet um and 10 is all the way wet um so if you're using it as a send return which i'm kind of using it on on most of these um you just crank it all the way to 10. um the tone is just what it is it gives a little more uh a little more high end to it um, to the wet signal but not the dry signal um, and then the selector I'm gonna read these from the manual because it will probably explain it way better than I could so you have echo which is uh, there's a single repetition for each active playhead no sound is fed back to the disc so there is no swell reverb effect then you have rep which is the tone of each active record head is fed back to the magnetic disc um, and then swell uh, which the tone of each active record head is fed back to the magnetic disc. So it gets pretty wordy and kind of complicated. Um, I think the best thing to do is just kind of play with this and, and kind of get the ideas of what it can do. Um, and then here you have the different playheads that you can select. And I'll show you once we get into this um, how you can kind of make some cool effects using all of these or just a few of these. Um, down here are some general settings. Uh, you got wow, which is kind of, you know, the wow flutter sound, um, which can sound cool. I've never been a big fan of it. Noise, I've never been a big fan of noise, so I usually just turn that all the way to zero like we did here. Um, you got frequency and gain, uh, EQ here, and then another one over here as well. Um, and then we'll go into the stereo mode. You can flip this into stereo mode, and we'll go into that once once we get into some of these settings. So... Uh, all that being said, um, let's check out some of the stuff we got going here. So, Dressed out. this is a pluck that's on the song, and I'll play it through. So, here I'm sending it uh, to the, in the stereo mode. Um, I'm using a send return here. But let me play it just so you can hear it. The way I got this, it had a little bit of delay on the keyboard part already. But we're, I wanted to make it stick out a bit more. And you'll hear once we turn this on that it really just kind of pulls it out, gives it some kind of movement, um, and makes it kind of brings it to the forefront a little more, makes it a little bit more interesting. So that's the that's the sound without anything on it, and then we'll turn it on. I'll turn it on and off so you can hear it, and then I'll go over the settings. And then let's hear it with the music on. Let me mute these vocals for right now. Whoop. 
So it's pretty cool. Well, you can hear when I turn it on, it just kind of pops out and moves a little more and like kind of grooves with the song a bit more. Really kind of cool sound. So let's open it up and I'll show you what I did here. I actually used this stereo adding rhythm um, preset and they have some really cool presets in here. Um, switch the sync on to 16th notes. And then uh, what else do we do here? So then, so what is it? It's in cross mode. So here's your stereo mode. And you got mono, cross, and verb. And mono basically sends the left channels to the left drum head and the right channels to the right drum head, right? And then cross is more of a, of a ping pong effect, which is what we ended up using on here. So it's kind of like your general ping pong sound. Um, and then verb, which is the last one, uh, it puts the left and the right channel rep uh, repetitions are mixed together. And so what it does is creates what you would think uh, by the name of the sound is... Uh, a reverb sound, a uh, verby kind of sound. Um, so here we're using the cross mode, and then what we did down here is I turned the noise off, and and if you hear, pretty like it's kind of a cool sound for noise, but uh, it was just taking up too much in, into my mix, maybe a little bit, but not a big fan of noise. Uh, so then what I did is because if you listen to these plucks. There's some high endy, and I didn't really want that delayed. I didn't want the high end pluck part. I wanted the low end. So cool thing is, is you have this uh, EQ here, and so what I did is I set a low pass filter and just gained down around uh, th th uh, three hertz, three kilohertz. So check it out once again. You can hear it. And then if you hear it without the EQ, so it's cool. You don't get as much of that, that plug part where you get a lot of the float. Um, so really cool. And it really kind of brought this sound to life in the mix. So the next part where I really think most lay in its shine, and especially this one, um, is on vocals. So <clears throat> I used one as a doubler kind of sound and, and I'll go over these. And then I used another, just kind of a basic eighth note, uh, mono eighth note. So let me play you just all we got is a bit of reverb on this vocal and, um, you know, just EQ and, and all that jazz. So let me play it to you without it. And then I'm going to turn these both on so you can hear it with, uh, with the echo. And then, um, and then we'll go through what the settings are. Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more than once. Dressed out, get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more than once. I was smoking dressed out. Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more than once. Dressed out, get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more. So you can hear with these effects, man, it just brings so much energy to the vocal, and it really uh, just makes, to me, just makes the hook really become the hook. Big joints when you call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Just loses all energy. So here we're just using it, um, not using it in sync mode. It's just a 300 millisecond delay, basically, right? Big and joints when you call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm fine. And I think something happened with my settings here that this got reset. But regardless, what I did was was just this, and then I clicked on uh, all the playheads, right? And this big joints when you call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more than once. Big joints when you call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people. So that just gave the, our, you know, our vocals some more width, um, a little more space. I mean, it is a delay, but it's just, it, it, to me, it brings a lot of energy. Big joints when you call me. Got me stressed out. I'll turn the double. Big joints when you call me. Got me stressed out. 
Get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run. So that's just a basic eighth note um, delay we got going on. And I don't know if I EQ'd it at all. Nope. Um, Big joints when you call me, got me stressed out. That's a mono delay. And then I actually had that going into uh, just a bit of reverb, just to give it a little more. Big joints when you call me. Got me stressed out, get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. Big joints when you call me, got me stressed out, get them off me, I'm flying to the next spot. I'm always on the run, some people act like you live more than once. Big joints. So really cool, man, really, really cool. The, um, what it can do on the vocals just gives that energy, and even on the synth, it gives it's a delay that gives like a different I, I keep wanting to say energy than just your basic digital delay it's got some like um what's the word uh, some saturation and just some something different that not all delays have so um definitely one for the arsenal of your delays uh you know just to give yourself a different sound and, and like i said on vocals man i just think it i mean it, to me it just totally changed the way that hook sound um so make sure to check it out. You can get a demo. I think they have a 10-day or a 30-day demo uh, over at Overloud. And uh, check out Cam Meekins on Spotify. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. Thanks. <laughs>